Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Mewtwo Fan Nate, and welcome back to another episode of How to VGC. In this series we jump onto the online rated battle spot ladder and we try to learn as much about VGC as possible. Now I do want to stress this is a series about learning about how to play VGC. I am not the best player so that is why I uh, encourage you guys to get involved in the comment section so that way you guys can help me grow and if there's someone else who's watching they can then go and read the comments and better themselves as well so that way we can all come together and learn. So the team uh, that we're going to be using today uh, was given to me by my uh, my good friend Buzz uh, who is a curator on the Pokemon Amino app which is a, basically just an app for uh, like a social media app for Pokemon. Uh, he did win a PC with this team uh, in Philadelphia I believe. I could be wrong but I believe it's Philly. So we are going up against someone from Japan with a 1588 rating. Uh, I will explain the team uh, more as uh, as more as we get into the the match. Uh, let's see. Uh, I just got to think a little bit. Um, let's see. So we do see a. Um, I think. I think Salamence and Arcanine are both pretty good here. Um, as well as the Gastrodon and the Tapu Bulu. I think those are going to be the ones that I pick. Um, is there any reason to bring Celesteel Because he has the meat. Um, if he has, if he brings his own uh, Marowak, he can't hit me with the Electric type moves. Um, I don't want to bring it though because he does have the Arcanine. So I think I'll bring the Gigalith instead. And instead of the Bulu, so I think what we'll do is we'll go and lead with the um, Salamence and the Gastrodon. I do, I love Gastrodon, it works out really well. And then we're gonna bring uh, Gigalith and Arcanine. So uh, now for explaining the team, the team uh, has a Tebu Bulu with, I believe it's Miracle Seed. Um, the Salamence has the uh, Dragonium, Dragonite, whatever whatever it's called, you know, for the uh, Z Crystal, the Dragon Z Crystal. The Argon has Safety Goggles. The, um, what is it? The Gigalith has a Stone Plate. And I, now I gotta get back to focusing on the match, but I will continue in just a second. Um, let's see. We do see, okay, the Electric Surge and. I think we're in a pretty decent position here. I think we're in a pretty decent position. He can try to burn me, but uh, we can, we can see if he has the grass knot or not. He can go for a dazzling gleam. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'm just going to. I think I just kind of want to just do the Dragonium Z thing on that Arcanine slot, but uh, at the same time, not sure if it's worth it. Um. He could Volt Switch on the Salamence. I think my I think what I could do is I could just go for a substitute. It's pretty safe. All right, what we're gonna do is we're just going to I think we're gonna flamethrower the Tapu Coco slot, right? I don't have enough time to think about it. We're gonna Draco Meteor, Arcanine, and as well as go for the Scald on the Arcanine slot because I don't have time to think. If I thought that out a little bit better, I probably would have done something else like doubling up onto the tap coco predicting protect but I, obviously i did not have um uh so that that was really um okay don't get paralyzed and what i'm gonna do is i will switch out into my um gigalith here i think i'm gonna switch on to gigalith because i'm gonna have wide guard do that bring you out and we will go for a scald again onto the arcanine slot fishing for a burn on whatever wants to come in because he's not going to want his uh, arcanine to stay in here and if he does he has balls he has major cojones is that is that a right word i i don't know my if that's spanish or where i've heard that from before but it's in my vocabulary now guys snarl okay he stays in. He's going to lower our special attack, but um, it doesn't really matter because we can rock slide him. Actually, what I want to do is I think I'm going to go for I'm going to go for the uh, 
stupid uh, bulldoze here. I'll go for protect bulldoze. We're gonna go for bulldoze, and we will go for a uh, protect. I could recover because I think I go after, but I'm not sure. I don't want to risk it. Hmm. I see like weird lighting. I don't know if that's like on my webcam, like, or if that's just on my laptop. I'm not sure. Hopefully, it doesn't show up post production. I have a big line coming down my face. Tapu Coco with draws. Fermosa comes out. So this thing will catch a bulldoze. Wishing I would have gone for the rock side here. Will O Wisp. Gigalith avoids, gets the bulldoze off. Great. Uh I think I wanna just bring I wanna bring back in my Arcanine. Uh mm, I think I'm gonna switch out. I'm gonna protect uh, the Gigalith here. And go for a. I think I wanna go for a Scald onto the Formosa slot. Actually, I'm gonna go switch into the. I'm gonna switch to my own Arcanine uh, instead. I would like to have Gastron later for that type of Coco. And we get an Intimidate off on this thing, which is great. And he can't burn the um, Arcanine, obviously, because we're Fire type. And if he has High Jump Kick, he will do good damage to himself. Although I think they're, he's probably good. <gasps> yes! Yes! There we go. Snarl comes out. That's fine. That's completely fine. That's completely fine. Don't know what is... Okay, this has to be either on the webcam or on my laptop screen. I can't... I don't know what it is, but it's bothering me. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully it doesn't... Uh, no, I think it's on my laptop screen. We should be alright. And I just wasted about uh, 10 seconds looking at my laptop screen, so... It's cool. What I'll do is now I can go for um, the rock slide and just go for a um, I think I'll just go for a snarl on my own right I'll go for a snarl because that should knock out both his Arcanine and uh, the between the rock slide and the uh, okay tap Coco no it's gonna be that thing alright so Snorlax is absolutely terrifying uh, absolutely terrifying uh, absolutely terrifying Rock slide, please do good damage. Please do good damage. Please do good damage. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's gonna kill. That's gonna kill whatever it is. Well, it's at minus one. It's at minus one, but it's a, it's a fair most. It's like 137 or something like that. Like attacks that, so. But we're Gigalith. We're Gigalith. We're Gigalith. We have good defense. We have good defense. Eat it. Nope. <sighs> nope. Should have just gone for the uh, flamethrower on it. Should have just gone for the flamethrower. I could protect, um, but I don't want this thing going for something stupid. Okay, so it doesn't. Uh, I don't know. Like I'm really like, I know it sounds ridiculous, but I'm really fearing like a belly drum from this thing. Hmm. I should be able to outspeed. Um, I kind of just want to double protect here. I kind of just want to double protect and let Fermosa die to the um, the sand. Kind of want to let Fermosa die to the sand. Because I can't. 
this, like he might he could go for the Draco meter like he might expect the Draco meter so I'm gonna go for the substitute um, and then what I'll do is I will go for a will-o-wisp onto the Snorlax slot going for the willow hopefully we hit it will-o-wisp goes off uh, maybe this, th this thing is definitely not long it's leftovers uh, if it's curse rest we will cr we'll probably cry our settlements is going to outspeed um, the Farmosa and our Arcanine is going to take a high jump kick so uh, it's curse it's curse uh, it's curse rest I have roar though does he, how many Pokemon does he have left so, Sandstorm decides okay this is actually not too bad I'm gonna go I'm gonna go for the roar here because I don't want this thing setting up I want to show this thing that it can't uh, okay, I'm gonna go for the roar, but I'm going to flamethrower the Faramosa first as I go for the roar. Um, don't want you in my life, Snorlax. I don't want you in my life. Maybe this is why. Okay, so Faramosa is gonna protect. Um, let's see, what is he gonna go for? Snorlax goes for a curse again. Okay, so that works out. Okay, that works out decent. Because we just get a. Nothing happens, we just get a roar off. And he's going to uh, be burned, and he can't do anything to us. So um, he's out of there. Prevented him from setting up and sweeping me. Um, I do want to bring back out the. Uh, I do want to bring back out the stupid Gastrodon on this on uh, after this thing goes down. Uh, we're gonna go for the flamethrower on the Fairmos, I think. As I switch in the Gastrodon, we, are, we do have to play a little bit iffy, I guess, because now I revealed the roar, so he's gonna have to. He's, we're both gonna be playing a little bit different now. We're definitely gonna be playing a little bit different now. Tapu Coco goes for protect. That's okay with me, because I just went for the flamethrower onto the Fermosa. So uh, that's a pretty good trade. Pretty good trade. He wants to bring back out the Arcanine. Um, I don't know, I because I, I do want to see uh, Arcanine comes out. Um, I don't know how much the Draco Meteor Z move does. Uh, Z move, not X move, Z move. I don't have much time. I have 30 seconds. Okay. Um, Arcanine is living on like nothing. What I think I'll do is I'm gonna protect the the Salamans here as I go for a Scald onto the Tapu Coco. Actually, no, I'm gonna go for the Scald onto the uh, onto the Arcanine, and knock it out. So it's base power power 140. No, that's uh, Z move effects. No, it brings it to 195 base special. Okay. And we will have our sub, so we can go for the Dev straight the devastating Drake on it. Um, on that thing, so. Uh, and Arcanine can't live this, so we're just gonna have a burned, uh, burned Snorlax plus a um, Tapu Coco. Although the terrain is up, he can't go for rest. Oh, uh, what if that? What if he wakes up though? He can't. He probably can't rest. I think we're okay. I'm gonna go for a flamethrower on the Tapu Coco because I think we can deal with it. Flamethrower um, on the Tapu Coco. We go for a Scald on the Tapu Coco. I think uh, if he wants to just set up curses, I think we could deal with him because uh, he can't. He, he, we have three more turns of terrain. He goes for dazzling gleam. Okay, that's good. Substitute is gonna fade. 
flamethrower goes off. Uh, this is going to be a not necessarily to a KO, but can we get a burn? No, no burn. I'm really terrified of this stupid thing. I'm going to. I want to go for. Uh, I I gotta protect here. Like absolutely have to. He he probably has facade. He probably has facade. Um, I think we can have one dazzling gleam, right? You take one. Alright, so. What I'll do is, I'm gonna go out into my Arcanine here as I go for a Flamethrower. I mean, as I go for the uh, Scald. I wanna get rid of this Tap Coco. I think he thinks that his Snorlax is his, is his win con, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, he doesn't protect. Hopefully, he doesn't protect, but uh, it's not like Scald would do anything to the. Um, the Snorlax anyway because it's super specially defensive and we're at minus one so um, the damage is kind of irrelevant curse I'm really getting pissed off with this thing I'm really getting pissed off he's back up at neutral attack um, He's gonna take some burn damage. And he's gonna he now he has the opportunity to rest, which is kind of terrifying. I'm gonna go for the flamethrower onto the tapu coco as I go for a scald. Actually I kinda wanna recover here. I think I'm gonna recover. Don't have any um I don't have any reason not to. Because I do have the Devastating Drake, and I can go for Flamethrowers, um, or I can go, well actually I can go for Scalds plus uh, Draco Meteor. So Devastating Drake plus Draco Meteor plus Scald should knock this thing out. There's no way. There's no way. I know this is a little bit more of an intense match. Um, Alright, so we do live. Um, Arcanine gets critted, doesn't really matter too, too much, and we, we're going to get the recover off uh, before this uh, Snorlax potentially attacks us, and it shouldn't do too much. I think he's only at plus one now. Um, he goes for a rock slide. Okay, so that's his attacking move of choice. Can't really touch my Gastrodon, and I can recover all day. If he has rest, I will be a little upset. I will be a little upset. There's no way you're living a... You're, there's no way. You're burned. This is minus two. I think you... Okay. So you're going to get intimidated, which probably brings you back to plus one or neutral. Because I don't remember how many curses you have up, but I can check after this. I can check your stats, which is great about uh, the new... A uh, new system that Pokemon has uh, put in place for us. Um, so he just he's at neutral um, with plus two defense. So uh, we will go for the devastating Drake onto the Snorlax as well as going for the Scald. And and I can I will one v one him. I will I will do it. I will scald. I will recover. He might. If he has rest, though, it's GG. If he has rest, it's GG. But um, I have to. I think I have to avoid a rock slide here. I don't know how much this is gonna do. Oh, I like that damage. I like that damage a lot. Plus scald. Um, another a little bit of more chip damage. He has the rest. Oh no. He has the rest. Why would you run this? This person was like almost 1600s. And this thing is going to stall me out. I have to get crits. He has, he's, if he has sleep talk though. Um, Alright, we're going to go for Draco Meteor. And we're going to go for, uh, we're going to go for Scald. 
Oh, this is terrible because now he's not burned. Oh, we have to hope that he gets rest. If he has sleep, if he goes, if he has sleep talk, I hope he has rest. I hope he gets rest. He went for rest, so he has two turns where he can't touch us. Um, that does decent damage. Um, I'm not really happy right now. Don't have sleep talk. Don't have sleep talk. He doesn't have sleep talk. So if I can get crits, if I can get crits, we'll be okay. So we're gonna go for a Draco Meteor here, um, and we're gonna go for another Scald. Oh man, what is this game? What is this game doing to my life? We have less than five minutes left of this game. This thing is taking up the entire episode with this stupid. Um, Snorlax set. Okay, so I think if we get a, we just need, he's. I mean, he's risking the crits, man. He's definitely risking. He's playing with crits. He's playing with crits. Don't play with crits, Snorlax. Don't you do it. All right. Alright, Draco Meteor doesn't do much. Obviously, because we're at, like, minus everything. And the Scald is not going to... It's actually... It looks like it's doing a little bit more. He's going to wake up and he's going to go for another rest. We just need some crits, guys. We just need some crits. I have three Draco Meteors left, so two crits in a row will do it. If not, uh, then I will forfeit, even though it is possible. Actually, it's probably not possible to win. I think it would go to a struggle match, and I think he would win. If I can get crits with both of my mons, that would be great. Can I get a double crit? Double crit? All right, let's, go, let's bring back the hands together. I'm not sure if I did this in the last episode or this episode, but praying works, guys. Praying to the Hex Gods works. Um, can I get a crit, please? Please crit, please crit. Can I get a crit with you? No crit? Okay. Man, Snorlax, you are my worst enemy. This is my last Draco Meteor, guys. After this, if it doesn't crit, I'm calling it quits because this thing probably has thick fat. And I can't do anything with a minus uh, six flamethrower to this thing. If I got a crit though, this could be, um, this could knock it out. That's not a crit. That's definitely not a crit either. And he's gonna go for another curse. Um, I guess we can play it out, but I don't think there's a point. I think I'm just gonna forfeit here. Um, cause my strongest stab move is, has run out of moves and Scald isn't doing too much. So, uh, if you guys want to let me know what I could have done better in the comment section down below, how I could have prevented this, because I thought, you know, maybe if I snor if I, uh, if I roared it out, which I did, I did do successfully the first time around, uh, I don't know, maybe there was something I could have done, I'm not sure, if I had a taunt user, maybe, I don't have one on this team, so that's going to be the episode for today, guys, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to hit that like button for me and subscribe for more content, I will see you guys next time, peace out.